You see, the thing is, ever since I was little, I've been addicted to mac and cheese. Every day when lunchtime rolled around, I watched the clock. And as soon as it struck 12, I immediately got my well-deserved mac and cheese. I have no idea what I did to deserve it, but I always remember thinking that I deserved it. And the addiction also brought up some future problems. You see, as a kid, you always just got it straight to you from your mom. But when you grow up and realize there's instructions and they're pretty difficult, yeah, I never really knew what to do. And after that, mac and cheese just kind of became a luxury, so now it makes me really happy whenever I think about it. Yeah, clearly I still have a problem. I mean, the fact that I still look forward to mac and cheese like I did when I was a child is probably not okay, but you know, I like to look at it from a bright side. That being that people search all their lives for the true meaning of joy and happiness, and through mac and cheese, I found it. So now I can go around exclaiming my euphorium to others and sharing the joy of mac and cheese. I also find it concerning that I'm making such a big deal out of mac and cheese, you know? So I guess the moral of this message is to watch out for mac and cheese, I think. Sure, that's, that's the moral. Warning, if you or someone you love has the following symptoms, watch out for mac and cheese disease. Nausea, pain, extreme longing for yellowy goodness, and more. Call 1-800-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-number-